The LVX version 1.1 firmware update is now available and is filled with new capabilities. We have deeper control over the delay types, the ability to assign a single modifier to multiple parameters, the half-speed control from Hedron Polymoon, a new hold modifier that lets you use the preset switches like mini expression pedals, and much more. We'll start by listening to all the new features, and we will end the video with a quick refresher on backing up your presets and updating your LVX firmware. Brand new for 1.1 is the hold modifier which lets you turn your preset switch into a mini expression pedal by holding it for a half second or more. The hold modifier features attack and decay times that let you fine tune its response. Let's assign the hold modifier to the polychromous pitch to hear it in action. On the pitch category page, you'll see that I am starting with the pitch set to 12, mix at 100%, and the location set to pre plus dry. Let's use C3 to navigate over to the hold modifier in the modifiers category page. I'll set the attack and decay times to about a quarter of a second. Next, I'll set the assign parameter to pitch. And since the polychrome is already set to an octave up, I'll set the minimum to 50%, which in this case is no shifting. Let's take a listen. The hold modifier can also be used to create an infinite hold using the delay feedback. Let's turn to a blank preset to try that out. First, I'll turn the feedback to 100%. Next, I'll navigate back to the hold modifier. I'll leave attack and decay set to 10 milliseconds for a quick response. I'll assign the hold modifier to feedback, and I'll set the minimum value to 60%. This will be my normal feedback amount when hold is released. Let's take a quick listen. I'd like to save this preset to work on later, so I'll hold C3 to enter the Save As view. While we are here, let's check out a couple of new additions to the naming controls. Pressing C1 will insert characters at the cursor location, and pressing C3 will delete them. Holding C1 will clear the entire name to start fresh. LVX already makes it easy to attach a modifier to any single parameter via the Assign control. Now, 1.1 gives you the ability to assign up to seven parameters, to a single modifier by using the new expression source control. Let's use C3 to move over to the expression category. You'll notice that along with assign, min, and max, each expression pedal entry now has a corresponding source parameter. The normal setting for the source parameter is expression pedal, which gives you a direct link between the expression pedal jack and the assigned parameter, just like before. Setting source to any of the other modifiers will now let you use the expression pedal entries to link multiple parameters to a single modifier. Starting with the freeze preset we just made, let's attach a second parameter to the hold modifier. I'd like to use the volume pedal to mute the input of the delay. So I'll choose the volume pedal type from the preamp category and put it in the pre-location. Using C3, I'll move over to the expression pedal category. Here we'll find expression A unassigned. I'll change source to the hold modifier and assign to pre level, which is a level of the volume pedal. Let's set min to 100% and max to zero. You'll notice that since the volume pedal mutes the delay input during the freeze, I can now play over the frozen chord without adding to it. Let's take a quick listen. <laughs> Another addition for 1.1 is the half-speed control from Hedron Polymoon. Using the half-speed with a modifier opens up a whole new world of interesting speed-up and slow-down effects. Let's start with a blank preset and set the structure to poly. Now set the delay time to 1.2 seconds from the front panel and press C3 to access the delay edit pages. Let's set half-speed to on and navigate over to the modifier pages. Here we'll set the LFOA shape to square and the LFOA assigned to delay half-speed. Let's take a listen to our creation. LVX features selectable digital, BBD, and magnetic types that let you instantly color your delays with different classic voices. The 1.1 update enhances those types with a damping control that lets you reshape 
and revoice those types right from the delay edit pages. For digital, the damping control allows you to soften and darken your repeats for a mellower sound. For BBD, the damping control alters the filter structure around the Bucket Brigade clock to make the echoes darker and gradually filter out the clock noise with no clock noise present when damping is set to 100%. For magnetic, the damping control changes the filter structure and ages the tape to allow for darker timbres. Let's listen to how the damping control affects the BBD type. BBD is shorthand for Bucket Brigade Analog Delay. From a blank patch, I'll set the type to BBD, the delay time to 840 milliseconds, and I'll turn the feedback, mod, and mix up to 80% to exaggerate the echoes so we can really hear what's going on. Now I'll press C3 to enter the edit pages and turn to the new damping parameter. With damping at minimum, we have the stock LVX BBD sound, which is bright and crunchy due to the trademark clock noise, which is characteristic to all Bucket Brigade delay networks. We'll start there and listen while I increase the damping. You'll hear the echoes get gentler and the clock noise get milder until at 100% where the noise will be completely filtered out. Backing up your presets is a good habit. Let's take the time to back up any of your favorites right now before we apply the update. First, connect the LVX MIDI out jack to the MIDI in jack of your audio interface, and the MIDI in of your LVX to the MIDI out of your interface. If your audio interface doesn't have MIDI, then you'll need to get a MIDI interface like this one. Once you have MIDI in working on your PC, open up the MIDI preset librarian. Our favorite for the Mac is SysX librarian. Select your interface in the source bar and press record one. Now use C3 to highlight your custom preset and hold the current preset switch and quick press the lit tact above it. You'll see the preset appear in the librarian where you can give it a name. To send a preset back to LVX at any time, turn C3 to highlight a destination and press play on the librarian. The preset will appear in the location you choose. And if you would like to keep it at this location, press and hold C3 to enter the save as view or hold the lit tack switch for a quick save. Just a side note, since you have the ability to send and receive presets now, you should consider visiting patchstorage.com where you can share your work and download the latest presets from Maris. To get the firmware update file, head on over to maris.us and click on the LVX product page. You'll find the file below the manual on the sidebar. Save the update file onto your desktop. Next, let's boot up the LVX into firmware update mode by pressing and holding foot switches one and three while powering up LVX. The screen will now show the copy file graphic. Connect LVX to your computer via the rear USB-C jack. Your LVX should show up on your computer as a USB drive. Drag and drop the firmware update image from your computer to the LVX drive. The LVX will display a load meter. When the load meter on LVX is full and your computer signals that it is done with the copy, eject the LVX by right-clicking on the drive. You should now see the power cycle graphic on the LVX. Unplug and replug the power from LVX to complete the update. 